Oh. All right, we'll see how bad this goes over. I don't even know what this overlay looks like. Hold on a sec. Oh, friends. It's my first uh, stream on my own channel since I've gotten back. No, I don't want to add an image. Hold on, hold on. Actually, this is perfect. I'm Quentin. And no, you're not. Ludeman is <laughs> F-Minerva, <laughs> There we go. Kane <laughs> is sick tonight, but... I want you to know that tonight's episode is called Shipbreaker, Stars of Thy Numbers Revised. Episode The Quadratic Formula. Ooh. It begins at the very moment that we ended the last episode with uh, a certain mechanic dusting his hands off, having successfully removed a spike drive from the Steve Urkel Memorial Museum now that he's no longer a number 500 most popular media character, fictional media character, I, th I think just media character. Um, and uh, in the bottom left-hand corner, it says, time since the destruction of Lita. And then it has, you know, like the number of hours it's been since then. Then everything freeze frames goes black and white, and the whole season is playing backwards and reverse as that timer counts down until it hits zero and starts counting back up. And on the screen, it says season one. And we cut back to the day before you go to meet with Ro. Oh, man. <laughs> is where we're at. You are in the genre system on the world of Al-Owar. You have one day to enter into the Al-Owar Open 3200 win the race, and then get back off planet with no complications, or the timeline will be permanently damaged. Right. Maybe we'll install a seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> I would love if you killed yourself in this episode. Just made the whole thing done, get it. Kane's first move coming back when he's feeling better. I'd like to rewind the last 10 seconds. He starts <laughs> talking to some shadows. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Ah, but before we get into that, we might as well just get some discussion chatting out of the way. My, uh, my fellow castmates and I were talking about Netflix's The Dragon Prince before we got here. But, you know, another form of media we should talk about. Let me do a little self-pity, self-loathing here real quick. What happened to the viewership of this show? It, it cut down 20% down. I don't mean it lost 20%. Yeah. It lost 80% viewership in, like, the oh, last yeah. two episodes. What happened, guys? That's the thing awful. is, this is this is my favorite part about this, is the only people who can answer that question are the ones who are still here and still watching. The ones <laughs> who don't true. watch anymore can answer it. It's an unanswerable question. I'll never know why they've stopped watching. McClay A went on his uh, honeymoon. Honeymoon, That's what... yeah. <laughs> no. And he got messed up on it, too. I feel really yeah. bad. And he, oh, he yeah. hasn't gotten to the current slate of episodes so he doesn't know that you kill your father and all the other bad <laughs> shit that happens and, 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 and AI bad is, bad is relative. And, <laughs> <laughs> you kind of <laughs> guilt your sister into taking over control of a planet and I don't know, I don't know if he tried I'd say he succeeded but yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have all these notes tonight about like Here's what's on uh, the Minerva, and like, here's what you're gonna find when you start getting it put back forward. But uh, those can I'd wait be, a week or two. I'd be interested if uh, the viewership dropped right after we did our first salvage, and the audience was like, "All right, they've done it. They salvaged something." That's We're not good. what happened though. <laughs> it's it's it was two episodes ago. Hmm. Uh, maybe it's just we had long breaks. I don't know. <laughs> I it was the episode after you killed your father. After the circle of eight got resolved, people don't like uh, then. People don't like family shooting family. I guess. I mean, <laughs> he is your family in some way, but also technically, he's just you. You. Yeah. People don't like you shooting yourself. <laughs> That's you know. Was he also technically other people? Was he one of the ones? Or was he just a y'all? He was the prime y'all. He was the y'all right. who had That's only right. ever been y'alls. Optimus Prime y'all. That's not even close to <laughs> the y'all of y'alls. What was what was the name of the shoot in the latest Transformers? Optimus Primal. He was y'all primal. That is not the latest Transformers. That's all the way back okay. to Beast Wars. 
Isn't that somewhat recent? No, how many? Have, how many Beast Wars was twenty plus no. years ago. I watched it as a preteen. Wait, the one that ju- they just did no, they no, just the redo Optimus it? Optimus Primal comes originally from Beast Wars, which was twenty okay, plus right. years but ago. But they redid the movie though, right? Optimus recently? Primal, and then uh, Hot Rod became Rodimus Prime and shit like that, and. One dude ended up merging yeah. with the Decepticon to become a flying tiger or some shit like that. Okay, so yeah, the cartoon is 96, mm-hmm. but they did a movie like in the past couple of years. Did yeah, not? like Transformers okay. Earth Siege okay. and Cyberstorm and all that yeah, stuff yeah. on Netflix. Yeah. Okay. But you were like, yeah, that Optimus Primal that was just from like a year well, ago. And okay. I'm like, no, that's not where Optimus <laughs> Primal is from. It's no, no, no. it way, way back. You're not getting a pass on that. Yeah. And then there well, was a follow-up series yeah. to Beast Wars that was not as good. I think it was called Beast Machines, maybe? I think it was yeah. like the Beast Wars c- crew goes forward in time to Cybertron or something. Anyway, look, if we talk about this for too long, Soundwave is going to be summoned. It's going to show up, and I'm going to have to read more vomited text about <laughs> continuity than I'm going to want to read. It's like Beetlejuice. Galactus shows up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, canon on those properties is, is insane. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm all so the time on shows I barely watch. Transformers <laughs> is completely wild. It was so good, though. It was so good. So I think uh, my, my short-term goal for this episode is not to no, screw up the timeline. No, 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 You don't get XP <laughs> for this episode. It takes well. place in the past. So I would automatically level? No! <laughs> There's I no do think, this I'm is like, just I'm an like, episode for fun. I'm good with that. I do think I'm like, I most to XP off. Obtain a trophy, a trinket. Yeah. Ooh, oh. Yeah, I'm good with that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Suddenly you'd be talking to Yono as I'm gesturing to this massive trophy so, on the wall. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so the start of the next episode is chest. just going to be you pointing to whatever place trophy you get here. And the only person who listens for more than like 30 <laughs> seconds is, um, uh, shoot, what's, uh, uh, the Cabibar's name. Holy crap. Um, Louis. Louis. Yeah. Louis is the only one that's polite enough to listen. <laughs> Nodding. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, he can read your mind or uh, yeah, read then, your emotions. So he knows that this is important for you. Yeah. Yeah, he exactly. just, when he's done, he just brings an orange. You. <laughs> you deserve this. Well, let's get started then. Uh, so we hear a familiar voice saying, Welcome to Rico Beach. It's a balmy 32 degrees Celsius outside. I'm James Jives, your locally generated artificial intelligence reporter. Sorry, virtual intelligence reporter. And this is the eve of the Al Awar Open 3200. 12 years running. Yes, tomorrow morning at the break of dawn, four teams, including one newcomer, will be competing. Mr. Falcon and the Punch Crew bringing their five-man team once again. Captain Han Fa in the Great Big One bringing a four-woman team. And Jersey Steve and the Jersey Boys are bringing the Jersey Rules. It's rare to see anyone as pumped up about the Channel Island of Jersey outside of the United Kingdom. Yes, this three-man team of people who really like Jersey are competing once again the returning champions, the Jersey Rules. But I have here two men who are entering in a new watercraft this season. Former <laughs> failed uh, hyperboat racer. You you were registered for a race and you left to plan it before it happened. Yep. I feel like he's, he's objecting going, those were unusual circumstances. <laughs> Former failed hyperboat captain, Van V., and current ambassador to Lita, Captain Quentin. What a, what a one-two punch. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't do the ambassador first. No, I got to do the failed guy first, then the ambassador. <laughs> Captain, let's start with you. I understand that you have a managerial role and will not be joining your crewmate on his boat. In fact, this will be one of the only solo craft that we will see out perhaps this year. Maybe in the next decade. That's right. That's right. Van V here, handcrafted, hand built, hand designed this whole thing himself. And he's going to pilot her because he knows her better than anyone. 
Now, our race officials did take longer than normal in order to certify this boat. It's said that some people on the commission have noted that you have an unusual amount of pre-tech mounted in your ship's hyper-engine motivator. That's still to the captain? Or... Yes. I... Okay. <laughs> oh, it is. Okay, I thought it was too bad. Uh, no, no, so uh, yeah. uh, Oh, well, uh, I, I suppose that's true. I, I guess I really never thought much about how uh, the amount of pre-tech in anyone's engine, I suppose. But uh, we've been luckier than most in acquiring, you know, a, a few trinkets and odds and ends along the way. Now, you are the captain of a salvaging crew. You got it. Is the implication here that this is a test bed for salvage that you have picked up, flaunting to the sector that you are a successful salvager who can bring back the kind of pre-tech needs people are looking for? I think that the uh, proof is in the pudding, and this is certainly an excellent advertisement for both our, our skills on an engineering front and uh, a you know exploratory front as well. Bevy, let's turn to you. What are your hopes here? Are you looking to at least cross the finish line, survive today's race, or are you looking to take home the prize of 10,000 credits and maybe even a sponsorship deal? Ooh, well, you know, I would like to guarantee victory. Uh, we're going to win. We're going to win here. We didn't, we didn't show up to cross the finish line. We're here to win. I'm glancing that at the other. That follows up several additional questions I had. <laughs> I'm glancing How do you at the, intend to compete? the tiger all oh. the way. How do you intend to compete in a 24-hour race with only a single pilot? One person awake the entire time, <clears throat> navigating and performing all physical manual labor on board the ship, and any mathematical calculations needed for the hyper part of the hyperboat. Well, uh, I'd say we've, we've been training for this that, um, you know, I, I should be able to handle most of this work all by my own, on my own. We have a little bit of an autopilot, I would say, that can help me out if needed. But for the most part, I've got this. Um, we've been now, training for this. I'm pretty sure this. that autopilot is not present for this episode. Mm. Well, then we're going to need some drugs. <laughs> <laughs> To, to... You're aware that you have just admitted on camera that you intend to take performance-enhancing drugs before a registered race. Well, I look at it this way. Going solo piloting, it means there will be no delay, hesitation, and arguing, consulting with the rest of the team. I'll be able to act faster than everyone else out there who has to discuss. All right. Out of Completely the three teams the that I mentioned, which, of course, you remember all of them and have investigated your opponents... Which one do you think is going to be the biggest threat tonight? Investigating opponents, goodness. Jersey rules. What is their favorite? What is their favorite hyperboat of the big one? <laughs> the big one, the great big one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you feel that Captain Han Fa and her all women team are your greatest rivals in the upcoming race? An interesting choice. <clears throat> well, you know, I've seen Falcon Punch before Smash, and no real threat there. And you know, the Jersey rules. Uh, the big one just sounds more scary. So you're choosing your opponent based on the name of their ship? Yes, 100%. Very well. As you said, I'm the little one. They're the big one. Size doesn't always win, but hopefully I can avoid them. Gentlemen, is there anything you'd like to say to the world of Alawar and possibly anyone in the sector? <clears throat> well, I'd just like to say that, you know, everyone else got to name their ship. I'd just like to say our hyperboat is named the wind. The wind. It's going to come full circle. Don't you worry. I feel like you already know where it's going. <laughs> He's fly on the wind. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Now that we're past that, I do want to say that during my vacation last week, I did write up. Uh, part of the rules and two of the playbooks for Solaris Knights 2. That's Solaris Ooh. Knights with an N and not with a K. <laughs> Solaris Knights with a K. The rules yes. are done. I just need to finish the maps. And this show has to end. Solaris Knights with an N. Solaris Knights 2 
will go after that. And uh, I don't know. That's pretty, pretty interesting stuff so far. I think that guaranteed victory is 100% removed from the rules. Oh, come on. <laughs> Everyone did it. There you were no drawbacks yes, for it until finally it I wrote the rules to be like, if you do it, it fucks you up real bad when you fail. I was just like, you know what? I'd like to guarantee victory. It's, I thought it was so funny. Like, I immediately took the skill that I could guarantee victory without punishment and yeah. avoided getting... Um, yeah, you and everyone else. I, I avoided getting the uh, like the trainees, even though that was originally my idea, because I was just trying to max mm -hmm. XP. Yeah, and you did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had trainees the whole time, and it definitely... <laughs> I like was the lowest level of everyone <clears throat> at the end. And yet like, you were one of the most popular pilots among our it's audience. Fair. It's fair. <laughs> I mean, I technically I had trainees, but uh, mm. Kane took care of that for me. I was going to say Kane probably the actual lowest Kane level was a given that yeah, he, he was died all over. several times. <laughs> Funny. What a show, Solaris Knights. What a show. Lots of fun. Did James ever <clears throat> talk to you about doing any guest appearances on Blood Bowl? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. Uh, Dynamis evangelized to get me on the latest season at one point, but I yeah. just time. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe you could uh, reach out to him, or I could ask him to reach out to you, and you could show up as a special opponent, maybe in one of Dynamis's matches. <laughs> be down for this. I could definitely take, be take on this. one of the uh, the that big guys. <laughs> that would be fun for sure. I would like a round where. Tunamis has to face someone who has a team with the same team value, and they also get a giant. Mm -hmm. And that's the one he fights Ludeman on. That'll mm -hmm. balance out the skill levels. I will throw everyone. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, a sideline? I'll just push two guys out at once. <laughs> hey, listen, I am I I think the next skill I'm going to pick up is either block or sidestep. And once I have sidestep on a gutter runner, I'm never leaving the sideline. I'm just going to run. Yes, I'm going to sideline dirty, run the whole rat. time. <laughs> yeah. There you go. You, you try to push me off? I just keep moving full. <laughs> That's how you get those one-turn touchdowns. <laughs> I've had a one-turn touchdown, brother. It was against me. <laughs> With that high kick bullshit. I was like, that really, that's really how that works? I don't even get to do anything? That's also what started the downfall of Matty. Uh, Matty Lightfoot. Hey, he, he works for me now. I feel like I feel like he's on three different teams at once right now. <laughs> he's on my team. I well, I claimed him from James at the end of the last season. I said Matty Lightfoot works for me now. He's going to be my gutter runner, and we're going to call him Ray Mysterio. <laughs> rat, rat Mysterio. Yeah. Well, I needed a masked rat so that I could get away with having Matty Lightfoot back again. That's funny. As long as he's not on my team, it's okay. <laughs> you just didn't know how to use them right i just held okay a bit. okay we'll get back to this episode by the way this episode is totally skippable for anyone that was like where's episode 31 i'm just gonna fuck around this whole time i haven't had a show in like three weeks <laughs> i did right. gentlemen on the list last night it was fucking disastrous it's one of the worst battletech episodes i've ever run <laughs> Ooh. It's nothing to do with the cast. I was just like, I had so many goals I wanted to accomplish, and I've missed all of them. Uh -huh. I didn't do good descriptions. I didn't get half the rules out. We could, we didn't get to the battle. It's literally the tutorial episode, and we didn't even start the tutorial. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <clears throat> you guys have overnight to figure out what you want to do. The race starts at dawn. You're expected to be there ready to go as the sunrise and then it doesn't technically last 24 hours it lasts until sunset or you cross the finish line and usually it's sunset because you don't it's the person who farthest along will be declared the winner and i have two well, maybe what's your process how do you how do you prepare do we need to get you a big meal you gotta <clears throat> meditate i can lead you through some Ooh, good, big meal that's a good one too I, I i think there are three things i need here cap First, is some drugs to help me stay awake. <laughs> Gonna have to get a hold of some something to push push my usual. I, is this acceptable in these races? I assume it would be right. Like, but, uh, it's, it's kind of like having the, uh, was a drugs a to keep you awake during jumps, right? Like, it's like having the the C three antenna and Slayer Knights with an N. Just don't get caught. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> in an official match. Um, Fair enough. 
I need, need just need a little something to help keep keep me awake because I'll I don't know, maybe it's just extra coffee. I don't know on standby, but uh, I, I think I'll need a little something just to help me go and beyond the usual. I don't know, eighteen hours. What's an eighteen sixteen hours? Whatever most people stay awake for. Guys, just, just got to push the limit a little bit. No, it's not uh, too bad. You can pull an all all nighter. I mean, one day, come on. You got this for sure. We'll get you some some caffeine, some espresso, some you know. And second thing, I, I got spikes or something. You know, we just got here. I should probably look at the terrain and plot out a course, chart out the best best path. What's well, the water? Uh, right. So the terrain will be totally flat and watery in every direction. Water lake, oh, easy. Okay. No waterfalls or anything. Perfect. <laughs> Waterfall. A lack of shoals. I don't know what these Could races are. Could you imagine right. going over a waterfall on a hyperboat and just randomly teleporting in a random ass direction? That sounds amazing. That's I don't know what they do. For a oh, water, spectator, you know, most waterfalls, <laughs> you know, they're at the mouth of a river, right? Yeah. So you would literally yeah, sure. just be like, "Boop, I'm over land." Well, guess what? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's when your ship pops out little legs, grabs it, its way back to the water. Just like in the, one of the last episodes of Dragon Prince, um, <laughs> I think. Uh, I, I guess then just plotting out a course from where where the starting line is, and then to where the finish line is. Just having having a strategy, and maybe trying to figure out where I think these other three, you know, Falcon Punch and Big One and Jersey Rules, where maybe they they might be going, and I'll pick a path. Maybe that doesn't interfere too much with that. I think speed will be my my friend here to get some separation and avoid well any type of contact with the other racers. And the last thing, oh, a nice meal. I I could go for oof, what's a nice heavy meal before big ra- oh Fettuccine Alfredo. Yeah, that's what I need. All right, let's load up on those carbs. <laughs> you all about that cheese? We can do that too. You go out looking, looking for an Italian food on a planet called Alawar, and you find Mediterranean Cars. food, surely. Mm-hmm. Lots of olives and cheese, definitely. Fettuccine Alfredo, not a chance. No shot. <laughs> fair. Totally fair. Uh, you get right. local Persian cuisine. Yes, I'll Plenty take some pita. of this here, this here chicken, right. some of this some pita, end up making like a mash, probably like a mix of salad with... I don't know what what this pasta substitute would be on the side, but basically trying to get as many carbs and something chicken based with pita. If, if, if it's allowable, if this planet is accepting of this, Louis would 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 be happy to be here and uh, partake on of course this wonderful potentially vegetarian Mediterranean oh, no, buffet. Not, no shot. Listen, I love how you're like this chicken potentially they, bet of- <laughs> like they serve you a single chicken. No motherfucker, I'm the fucking chef on this world. What they serve you is chicken pastilla which is literally a nice ass chicken inside of a a fucking like pastry dough leveled crust and then it's covered with powdered sugar and all sorts of seasoning and spices you eat it with your hands and you just like pull pieces of breaded chicken like again it's like pastry dough like um baklava it's like baklava dough this sounds really good (laughs) yeah it's fucking incredible i I love going to Moroccan restaurants. <laughs> They're crazy. <laughs> yeah, so canonically now, Alawar is a Moroccan planet for... Yeah, right, I love it's it. not Persian anymore. It's Moroccan now. <laughs> Still lots of cheese and dates, though. <laughs> fair, fair. Still the Moroccan diet. <clears throat> we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll do that with a heavy dose of cheese on the set. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, you get a any... seven-course meal where when you're Boy. 70% finished with the dish, they take it away from you and bring the next one out. Oh, man. And again, and it's served for your whole table, so it's you, the two of you and Louie are all eating from one dish. That's hilarious. It's beautiful. Bonding. I feel like as as the dinner goes on, uh, Van V wouldn't, he wouldn't be... He wouldn't be drinking because this is a big deal to him, right? So he's trying. He's staying sober. He's not going to be hungover for this. Um, plus, it probably was screwed to sleep and he's trying to stay awake for twenty four hours. But um, he just starts getting like ideas of okay. And so then on this turn, here's what I'm going to do. And he's just like going off, like just basically talking to himself. But you know, with Louis and the captain there, just kind of listening. 
So it's just kind of like yeah. going through. We are your rubber duck. Head. Yeah. Basically. What's your mindset though? Because Louis can pick up on empathic about okay. your feeling. Uh, he's probably trying to project confidence as he goes through the uh, the plan, but re- like Louis can probably tell uh, nervous because last time he was in the same situation leading up to the race is when he lost uh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute dar old dar who i don't know that we've revealed this to the public but the reason old dar died is because he was becoming a psionic and he burned himself out mm. uh everyone thought i was implying that he had like a gambling or alcohol problem but actually i was implying that he was becoming a psionic and he was using his precognitive powers to place bets on races i don't even even with how well van v knows quentin i don't think van v would have pieced that together because he didn't know anything yeah. about it at the time well i mentioned it to you guys yeah, yeah. after the episode out of character but right i want to yeah. make sure the audience knows that old dar died because he literally set himself on fire with his brain less sinister but yeah van v definitely still does not Nope. No clue. <laughs> so the seventh course is a bowl of fruit for dessert. And sensing your nervousness, Louis balances an orange on his forehead that he gets out of the bowl and then puts it on the table and uses his snoot to boop it so it rolls and stops right in front of you. I think that would give uh Van Beer picking up oh, so, you know, th- thanks uh thanks Louis this is this is great and would give him something else to focus on and now he's just focused on like trying to peel the entire orange but in one string so not like chunking it off so he's just trying <laughs> to make it really long man. spiral the whole way and that just gives him something else to focus on he probably calms down a bit stops talking so nervously repeatedly <laughs> just keep breathing Van Beer. you've got this you've got this you you've gone over the race you know what your game plan is. You just got to make sure you're you in the right headspace. You can do it. You Do you think we skipped out on too many safety features? Like now as he's thinking about that. <laughs> now that his life's held alive. No, you got to have just... faith in what you've, what you've done, what you've put together here. Because it's, it's you in that machine all the way. Yeah. I believe right, in Kevin. you. I believe right. in you every jump we, we we take out there. All right. I mean, next, to, next to 10,000 credits, that, that doesn't hurt. That, that's what we'll do. We, we could use that. Hell yeah. So you hear the bead curtain of the restaurant clack as four women come in. One of them tosses a bag of local currency to the waiter and points at your table and says, I'll cover their bill. As uh, they walk over very intimidatingly and (laughs) in their bright red jumpsuits all fold their arms at the same time. And then all four of them to go into a line so that they form like a series of dangerous action poses. Uh, And the leader takes a alcohol bottle that's like hanging from a rope at her waist and says, so you're the competition, huh? They call you Van Dorn. Well, I'm one of your competition. (laughs) She goes to sit down at your table, and then suddenly you're surrounded on all sides by Team Great great Big One as they're all sitting down, and she's popping the top on the alcohol bottle, and uh, your waiter is bringing, like, seven cups, although one of them is just a big bowl for Louie, and there's there's already water in it. (laughs) Oh, well, you know, it's awfully kind of you to, uh, you know, I guess, I guess, you know, pay for this meal for us. Uh, you guys usually eat this type of meal before your big races too? No, but I heard you were here. So I sought you out. All right. Well, appreciate that. Uh, what do you think about the race tomorrow? I wanted to size up my competition. I know the other two crews, but you're not just an off-worlder. You're also a coward who fled from his first race. I wanted to get the measure well, now, of hold, you. Hold on. Now that's... Mm, I she takes going... a cup of the alcohol and puts it in front of you. I wouldn't go... I, like, I'm busy, like... Go, like Ben would reach hold over on. That ain't, to, to that take ain't, it. <laughs> you know, that, I'm I giving you go... an opportunity to correct the record here. What's known I... is that you registered a craft and then you ran away after you set your own shop on fire. 
No, yeah, I, you know what? I think you best stop talking before you say something you regret here. She just stares at you over the top of her drink, and Pump then all the breaks, four man. of them drink at the same time. Louis also tries to tip his bowl back like that, but they just spills water all over the table. It begins dripping onto the floor. Oh, uh, I wish he could drip it in a way that spills on her. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> that Ooh, can, works. Quentin, can Quentin make physics work that way in this scenario yeah you have telekinesis right yeah that's what i'm saying yeah, of course. <laughs> so you, you splash some water on her and she just looks at you and says okay what's, what's the play here <laughs> no it should flow more net <laughs> the water was going left to right it stops and goes right to left i'll tell you what let's make some sort of deception check to cover this oh, how about it. that yeah you like that part it's fantastic great let me get my book open to uh, see what skill we might do for this uh, uh, actually uh, telekinesis uh, is its own skill right it is you're right yeah absolutely because this should be subtle we'll say it's subtle. yeah we'll do telekinesis and we'll do wisdom all right uh, see if you could hide it jesus that's a 15 Holy shit. that'll do it you have a plus four yeah okay yeah all right she gets water <laughs> on and she just goes Flusters here. Just a touch. That's fine. Take, take I have advantage. a spare back at base. <laughs> is this a... Uh, maybe this is a sign for tomorrow. You're going to get a little wet. Yes, we're racing in boats on the ocean. Mm, well, I'm going to stay dry in my cockpit. I don't know about you. Aren't you in an open canopy motorboat that has as many safety features removed to streamline speed as possible? Is it open canopy? I don't know. <laughs> If it is, then I've always imagined to... it was just a motorboat <laughs> with like everything missing. I've I've kind of been imagining like it's got like one of the the big glass oh, like, sliding shoot. bubble canopy. Oh, like, bubble yeah. canopy, Jet sure. Yeah, side. we'll say that. <laughs> well, that's the one safety feature. With how much is missing from your machine? I sure hope that those hinges on the bubble <laughs> canopy don't break. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I won't say I'm not here to hassle you, but I am not here to harass you. I want to know the truth of what happened, so don't get offended. Well, shoot, all you have to do is ask what really happened as opposed ask. to... No, you, you made accusations. That's two very different things. All right. Started I'm meant to ask. I, that's what I know about you, is that you're a coward. Here is your opportunity to set the record straight. Courage is important to hyperboat <laughs> racing. You're That's literally you putting your hands into you the know. total unknown. Well, I don't think anyone here wants to hear the, the super long version of the story, but back on Ford, when I was just getting started on my own, I had a partner, Dar, that you, you referenced. It was the night before our big first race. <clears throat> he told me to go back, get some sleep. He was going to keep finishing up our... Uh, a hyperboat and in the middle of the night uh a, a bomb or something went off in our uh dock i guess i don't know what you call it our, our work workstation took dar out with it and people accused me of being the one to set it off kill dar the only person i knew there the only person that i would call my friend uh, with rumors like that i did the only thing i could i, I ran like hell Interesting. You think I would kill the only person I would call my friend? Get me in a race the day before my very first race? That don't make I'm no sense. I'm just confused because I don't know much about Thor except that it's the hyperboat racing mecha and mm. the blast boat ball mecha. But I do know one thing, and that's all citizens of Thor are assigned a sort of virtual intelligence keeper. So that wasn't your friend as well. You just did. You didn't have your own VI friend like everybody else. Out of character, was virtual intelligence keeper? What is it? You the 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 robot thing I hate robots you, for? Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> the yes. one that you fucking yes. Omni Mega. Stop load. talking to me. <laughs> Why are you? Uh, the planetary okay. AI splits off a VI <clears throat> for every oh citizen to keep track of them and. Make I sure love the thought that Van V wasn't from Thord, and he just kept thinking it was basically a pop-up ad. Yeah. <laughs> basically, yeah. 
Leave me alone. I want a person. Well, I mean, if you're referring to that, God, that awful robot that they, they had me talking to after the event and was just trying to get me signed paperwork and, you know, I couldn't get a hold of a per- That was a horrible experience. That, that thing was useless. God, she I forgot about stands that. up and pushes herself away from the table and her whole team does too. They all look disgusted with you. She says, I had thought better of you. I didn't realize that you were racist, speciesist against virtual intelligences. It's a shame. We'll have to crush you tomorrow. You People with attitudes like you who don't like electronic intelligences they don't have any place in a sport like this they're legitimate people as well oh the things you don't know she puts the bottle on the table leaves it there and she walks out cat how come i'm just so good at making friends <laughs> you have a way with words skill. <laughs> you are a wizard you cast <laughs> charm over all of the people you meet I'll tell you what, though, I didn't tell him about Minerva. So that's a win. <laughs> no, I mean, hey, that's a great cover. Uh, being racist against artificial virtual intelligences. There's no I way suppose. this crew has one. Have you seen this guy? <laughs> it's stained. Oh, you know, hey, we. It happens to everybody. At this point, I you think know, at, at some point that foot's gonna miss your mouth. I swear, it's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Louis is sensing straight frustration at this point, <laughs> with no way to like let it out. He's just I don't know, like the, the cartoons growing up, just going. <laughs> oh, Louis, it's just scratch, 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 scratch. <laughs> okay, my okay. Let's refill that water. You take the spilled water and put it back in the bowl. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> uh, too funny. Nearby, someone mutters, a bowl is most useful when it is empty. Mm. Little Asian wisdom there for you. What is, what is a vessel for, if not to be filled? Ah, uh, I see there how Grecian comes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've covered 2,000 years of philosophy <laughs> in one statement. Perfect. The fortune cookie that was coming to the table stops and goes back. <laughs> yes, the fortune cookie you get at Moroccan, Moroccan. restaurants. <laughs> yes, it's perfect. You know, my mom got back from Morocco just before my vacation, and I looked at my spice cabinet the other day, and she had left, like, a pound and a half of Moroccan curry powder in there. Nice. I'm going to be using that for the rest of my fucking that life. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> like, straight from Morocco? I mean, come yeah. on, what? <laughs> that sounds great. Okay. Dynamis, I would like you to choose a direction and roll a d20. Choose Plastic. a direction now, based on the, I'm, my I'm choices. I'm going to explain to you. Okay. <laughs> We're going to do the first arc of this race is you attempting to do the opening straightaway. We're going to play out three scenes, one with each of the ship crews. It's going to be the straightaway and then two turns. So your objective is to make it to the end of the straightaway before the other ship that is facing you makes it there. So I think you can see that I've drawn a little arrow. This will represent which way you're currently facing your boat is facing, and then you will need to decide the facing. You'll make a roll to see if you can control your ship. If you are successful, your ship will move forward the amount of spaces uh, that your speed is. Because you have the smallest, fastest boat, you will move forward four spaces if you are successful. And then you'll roll the d20 to see which way you hyperboatize. What are we supposed to be? I just see a big black square. Ah, I know what's happened. I do not own any token vision. Yes, this it's because the lighting is on token vision automatically. There you go. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. <clears throat> Straightish dog leg to the right. Got it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. 
I so it think. takes one speed to change direction, and then, of course, one to move forward. So, uh, where do these two intersect? Right here. So I want to get to, oh, wow, that's how that ripples. That's pretty cool. I want to go straight to there, then just turn, and then go. Sure. So single turn. Okay. This is this is channeling my lights in Battletech. <laughs> sure. We're going to roll a d20. To start with, to see where you'll hyperbotize at the Ooh. end of your movement. Tell me high is good. <laughs> that ain't bad. Uh, high is actually the worst possible number you could no! get. That, that is bad. I lied. High means oh, that you on. dive underwater directly underneath the location you're currently at. Uh, Interesting. Good thing you got that bubble canopy. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't jam. So you will actually lose one point of speed at the start of the next turn as you are coming back to the surface. Yeah, the one time I roll high on a D20. <laughs> well, at 19, you end up in the air above your current location. Oh, and then um, starting from the direction you're facing, the first six numbers are the... So it'll be like, uh, like this. So this one, would be two, one, three, and then it would go... Three. Two, three, four, five, six, and then yeah. the outside would be seven through uh, eighteen. Oh, and then nineteen is up, and twenty is down. Yes. So I literally just I just went down a level. Yes, but the oh, other man. thing to note is that you are next to your competitor over here, so you could conceivably collide, which is why hyperboat racing is so dangerous. You sure yes. this isn't like in uh, Ready Player One, the first race, where I just went reverse backwards? And sure, a I, level. Hold, hold, because Ready Player One, I've read the book, but I believe you're talking about the movie, which I haven't seen. Oh, I'm only sorry, you can't, I don't get that reference for you. Uh, I, d I listen. I've read the book. I don't know how they could have made that book for children. A dude literally uh, has sex with a sex robot several times in the book <laughs> that is not in the movie <laughs> yeah i didn't think it would be because <laughs> it had like a pg-13 rating <clears throat> the i mean the some of the first race to get the first key the whole never mind, i don't want to spoil it if you're gonna watch the movie at some point i'm not i'm never going to watch the movie <laughs> okay what's well, in the first race to get the first key like the whole thing is everyone always goes straight when the light turns green and no one can get past uh kong and so the main character finds like a, a hint that to go forward, you have to go backwards. And so he goes in reverse <laughs> and goes like down into a secret sub level. and just goes under the entire course until he gets to where the key is. Unbelievable. So just, just so like, you're aware in down the level. novel, the first key is based on dungeons and dragons, the tomb of annihilation. Mm, that seems it's not much better than a race. I think, <laughs> <laughs> I have the books. I just haven't read them. <laughs> well, I will um, read them. It's, it's all right. Enough. It's an all right yeah, book. They're fun enough, right? Like, it's follow-up book was not as good. Armada mm. was pretty wild. Mm. Armada mm. was literally a guy going, I have spent 20 years in the fucking military, you goddamn teenager. Whatever you do, do not fly down that tunnel. And the teenager's like, oh, God, I got to fly down that tunnel. Literally everyone oh, in man. the area is like, don't fly down that tunnel, you fucking idiot. He's like, <laughs> I got to fly down the tunnel. He flies down the tunnel and, and everyone's like, well, that's it. Humanity's fucking dead, you damn idiot. You literally killed all of humanity by flying down that tunnel. He's like, I didn't know I couldn't fly Oops. down the tunnel. Literally, oh, that is like seen directly out of the book. There's hundreds of people being like, don't fly down the tunnel. Flies down the tunnel. He's like. Oh no, the consequences of my actions! <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Not bad. I hate Armada so much. Especially when they have like someone like Butch McGurk telling you not to do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need your piloting check, and uh, we'll see how they do as well. I don't want to um, roll for them, though, until I, we know where you are, so we know whether or not you collide or not. Uh, and the first boat that you're facing off against is uh, the punch crew. Ooh, Mr. Falcon. Mr. Falcon, yes. Just to be very clear, his name is Mr. Falcon. Uh, he is captain of the boat, but he is Mr. Falcon. I called him Mr. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, just that. now? I just, just said now Mr. Falcon. Just now you called him Mr. Oh, yeah. Earlier, oh, yeah, earlier okay. I was, yeah. 
that is successful so hold on and then Sweet. you can so you can choose to move four hexes and as you do it costs one to rotate and turn so if you want to go to right there you you definitely yeah, can. go there straight all right and then you will dive under the water now it'd be so funny if they end up in the same hex as you because you will submerge oh. under them and can they get to the same hex? One, uh, that'd be five hexes they got a five <clears throat> six seven which is successful they will move forward one hex and oh, then an 11 crap. is going to put them six uh seven eight nine ten eleven so they end up just shifting to the right <laughs> <laughs> their original position take that mr falcon so for the viewers at home what they see happen is a boat begins to drive forward and then um kind of like the guy from chronicles of riddick who can like send a future projection of himself out and then his oh, body yeah. follows into it that's what happens with the hyper boat like they're driving they turn to see themselves over their shoulder and then the boat whoop, Big back ghost mode. <laughs> you however are like wow oh, where's my projection <laughs> <laughs> <Underwater>. <laughs> whoop, your boat whoop. stops going very far forward and then starts bringing itself back up with its ballast <laughs> Oh goodness! Ballast of brilliancy. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Let's, let's see the next part. Let's see your D twenty to see where you end up. Uh, hyper hypertizing at the end of the oh, round. Uh, that seems better. Sixteen. So Two, you will move uh, this direction. That one. That's that's good. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Now make your roll for piloting. Pilot you go? Dexterity for pilot? Uh, yes. And yeah, I, I do believe this is actually the best possible location you could have rolled for. That's not bad at all. For sure. That's fair. And I'm doing this all <laughs> underwater. No. Okay. <clears throat> so you have four speed. The first one brings you to surface. So you have three movement and it takes one if you want to change directions. I will note, if you change directions, you will hypertize in the new direction, not in the direction you're currently moving. It doesn't, you don't hypertize uh, until the end of your turn. So if I were to change directions to look like, uh, how do I draw? Oh. Yeah, so if you were to you change will, directions headed towards the end I would zone, hypertize over here. You would instead. hypertize two to the left of that. Then I will go straight for three, I guess. Okay. You go one, two, three, and then you'll hypertize here. Turn these one, two, three. Oh, this is gonna be. Oh man, this, I feel like this is like a. What was that mech game that did really well? That um, shoot on Steam. That's like turn based and the little guys with specific powers. It's like a puzzle. What is that? Oh, so, Phantom Doctrine. Ah, uh, I don't think that's it. Okay. Um, well, I have great news. Your opponents return to where they started at. Oh, wow. They begin, their boat begins kicking forward. You can see that Mr. Falcon is like on the command deck of this five person ship. It's got, oh, yes, into the breach is what yes, that's saying. It. That's so it. he's up on like uh, a poop deck looking down on four people that are like working. It, so his ship actually has sails and like everything you would need for conventional watercrafting and big engines and the hyper engine. Just... It's got all that stuff. Um, the sails are going forward, the engine's going backwards. Yeah, he turns around, he looks behind himself, and the whole ship just whoop, goes back to where it started at at the beginning of this <laughs> round. They're having a real problem. <laughs> okay, let's see your rolls to see how you hypertize and uh, eight. Would, uh, uh, so, what do you drive? Six, seven, here? eight. So, you'll go forward Ooh. and right one, two, forward and right. <clears throat> so if I if you end up here turn turn yeah if you just end up there you'll on. hypertize onto the do I way. have to use all my movement no okay so turn turn move that's what I need okay, okay. so you just need to succeed no. at this piloting roll 8 plus boom shakalaka okay 
At will... four style points, you hypertize onto the end of the straightaway. Oh, yeah. Let's see how they do. Ah, that's a very Holy high roll. Holy crap. Oh, wait, those are two dices together. I was like, how yeah, did you yeah, do it's that? Both dice. Okay, so they're moving forward one, and then they hypertize. So this is 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Okay, so despite their best efforts, they've only moved one hex <laughs> away from their starting position. They are constantly <laughs> being pulled backward. <laughs> oh, man. Poor Mr. Falcon. <laughs> he's, he's stuck in the, uh, what do you call it? The, um, uh, Undertow. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, crew are mute. Uh, having some real problems. Fighting those metasionic currents. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For the next series of rolls, you have a minus one to your piloting because you've been awake for hours. Mm. This third stretch is going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have a minus two. So for this one, you have to make a full rotation around the X. Hmm. So you have to enter from one of the bottom two hexes and then exit after going around from the from the other one. So like hmm. this way, you go around in either direction. Or does it have to be within one hex? Yes, you have to. Uh, well, if you get hypertized away, you can come back and complete the circle. But the, 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 point, the point is, you have to, you hit, have to the make a full rotation around the inner ring of hexes. <clears throat> okay. Thanks. So like going somewhere over here doesn't count. Uh, yeah. I mean, look, if you want to take the Waste widest spaces. possible yeah, route, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm not going to stop you. You just have, you just have to clear those six inner hexes. You can't just be like, I hypertize from one side of it to the other. Yeah. Well, not I gotcha. Uh, teleport. Okay. I like it. I like it. Okay. Are we facing Jersey rules now? Uh, no, you're facing uh, Captain Han Fa. Oh, we're facing him again? Mm. Uh, her, yes. Uh, no, no, Captain Han Fa is the, is oh, the captain of the okay. great big one. Yeah. Oh, well. She and her give, crew are here. And I give her uh, and her crew a friendly wave. All right. <laughs> they all stick their noses up at you. <laughs> Expected. Her ship is a trimaran, so it's like a Ooh. large flat deck with three smaller parts sinking into the water gigantic huge double sail and uh just like a lot of equipment like food and sensor equipment and uh you can see they have like a big calculator to help them hypertize oh okay i just have a cigarette boat <laughs> well <laughs> With a the canopy. thing about your the thing about your hypertization is you get to know where you're going to hypertize before you choose where you're going to pilot to. And that's because you put um, so many of Kane's precious pretech points into your boat by destroying his little pet virus project. <laughs> Thank you, Kane. <laughs> <laughs> much appreciated. I could see this being much worse. It's like, okay, move where you want. Yeah, when I wrote the original rules, I was like, yeah, random hypertizing is uh, really funny. <laughs> that, that, that would be a problem oh especially on this one holy crap so you get to here doink nope gotta go back <laughs> with their computer they can switch their hypertization plus or minus one uh that's pretty good yeah so they can make it they can turn a 14 into a 15 or a 13 so that's pretty yeah that's good okay hypertize away let's see where you're gonna end up three one, one two, two three. three so you move back and right Depending on how you want to look at that. That's not great. All right. Pilot six. Minus one. Minus one. Ooh, not great. Yeah, not great. Moving forward. You get uh, four spaces of movement, and then you'll hypertize back. Two. Turn for three. Here would be four. Back to the right would be here. That's correct. But looking this way. So that's that pretty good. All correct. Yeah, so I'm looking this way though, right? Okay, yeah, you're racing. Nice. I'll take that. I'm going in the right direction. All right. Let's see how they do. That and seems really low on both counts. There's a two. They're going to hypertize it a one hmm. instead. And they're going to go. It's a good move. Uh, 
one, two, and then hypertize for three and be in a position to, to start of cutting you off or maybe collide with you. I was going to say, do these happen simultaneously? So we could, if we yes. hit, if we as I both... mentioned, you can hypertize into each other. Yeah. Or collide ships. What is it like? Just the ending hex that just matters? The ending hex. Yeah. Okay. So if we both travel through the same hex in the same turn, it's okay. That, okay. listen, the play test I ran, it happened, hypertizing into another ship happened more often than I would have thought, given that it's a D20 roll. <laughs> Mostly because a 19 and 20, you'll end up in the same hex that you're currently in. So, you know, there's a 10% chance that if someone ends up in your hex, you'll st you'll also still be in that hex. Yep. That's, That's an extra fair. fun. In the, I would imagine the bigger boat wins in that case, which is not good here. So, <laughs> All right. All right. Hypertize me. Well, I guess hypertize you. All right. Um, that's, that's actually going to send you two forward. Two forward. That's, that's awful. all hypertize. Um, another. Uh, you go one, two, turn for three, four, end up here. And here's the pilot roll. Yep. Ooh, two tens. Okay. So you let me know how you want to go. Because you I might go, do something crazy with that double jump. I go one. Yep. Two, two turn for three, four. Uh, here it is. This mm. is my blood bowl math. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to build an extra point of heat to turn again. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, sugar. This is fucking Varen trying to side slip me, <laughs> failing on his stumble roll and still and getting an AC in, in the ass. back of the knee. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, Jesus, what a shot. What a disastrous shot. It looked good. I, I think, yeah, I think we're just going to use max max movement. I know we're going to end up over here, but uh, one, two, yes. turn so for will end three, up. move four. Gosh, way over here. I don't know. What's worse, there or... You know what? No, we're going to go... I'll end one short, so I'll end here. Okay. I'm still looking the wrong direction, but it's okay. Oh. Okay, they're successful. Oh, I never mind. It's okay. Okay, so they can go one turn for two, and then a nine would be... Okay, so an eight will put them here. I could have ended up here. Ah, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Quentin probably is waking up like with you know in a puddle of drool. Like, oh, where they at? If you if you had a live feed, you'd just see Van V like bloodshot a sack like <laughs> like pure adrenaline. <laughs> okay, hypertense. Need some coffee. Damn it! Oh boy, under the Ooh. sea again. What is with these twenties? Where where is this every single time I've played five E? Start calling you Sebastian or anything. The good okay. news for you though is that as is that as long as you're successful, you can end up in this hex and you yeah. And they unless they go underwater too, they can't hit me. Sure. <laughs> be where you want to be. I mean, they simply That's don't have bad. the speed to end up where you're at unless they hypertize over the make an illegal jump over the obstacle. Okay, you All are right. successful. Um, so one, two, now, of course, it's not like three, they can four. control it like you. Yeah, let's so just go here. Even if it is a illegal jump, they just have to go around again. Uh, mm -hmm. they roll double ones so they don't go anywhere. And then they hypertize, oh. uh, seven, eight, nine, 10. So they get much further away. I would like to open comms and tell her you're going the wrong way. <laughs> They end up over here. You say that, and as you do, you're... <laughs> you're going to... <laughs> Under the sea. Uh, the last one is just like this one. You are facing off against the Jersey Boys. They are significantly faster, and they can alter their... Uh hypertization by two points in either direction. That's pretty good. 
Yeah. But pretty good. That's really good. What kind of what kind of boat am I looking at? All right. Why are you laughing already? Uh, I watched the two of them. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's funny. You know those pop-up bar stands that are powered by the people that are there pedaling on a bike? Pedal taverns? Yeah. <laughs> I fucking love those. <laughs> it's that, but for a boater boat. <laughs> Oh my god! And they have the their, highest speed. Their ship is powered by their hyperdrive, by their spike drive core, hyperizing it, and also they are helping recharge the electricity of their generator. And they're they they have a completely useless banner that is probably slowing them down. That has like coconuts and bananas and seashells and like a sandy beach at the end of it they're all wearing like hawaiian shirts that are all open they're totally ripped in tan they've got uh mirrored black sunglasses on they're all throwing back guinnesses uh they see you coming up they're like yeah bro how's it going man we're from jersey <laughs> You guys definitely do not skip leg day. We win every <laughs> year, bro. I think right before this one starts. Oh yeah, their legs look insane because they've been they're like uh thirty three and they've been doing this since they're twenty one every year. Oh my god! You know, like they train every day. Their quads are jacked as fuck. That's hilarious. <laughs> I think right right before Venv starts, he like before the I don't know the horn sounds to go. He like grabs the the wheel, and he's like, "Come on, wind! I'm a leaf. Now let's soar." <laughs> I want you to roll a twenty so bad. <laughs> I'm a leaf on the. <laughs> I'm a leaf. <laughs> now let's. <laughs> oh my god! Classic. He did roll a yes. twenty, audience. He my did god. roll what the a twenty. This is three twenties. Oh so many. <laughs> You know, you know, I'm starting to think Kane is the reason I always roll bad. He's not here, and I'm being yeah. amazing. Except it doesn't doesn't help here. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, uh, this is Dungeons and Dragons. You'd definitely be killing the final boss for sure. Crit, 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 crit. Yeah, this is a big spooch showing up on <laughs> Fractal. Absolutely fucking people up. Energy right here. I'd be, uh, be critting and confirming the crit. That was oh, the most disappointing Pathfinder, thing in Pathfinder. Confirm criticals? Is when someone was like, okay, conf I mean, first time I rolled the crit, they're like, okay, confirm it. I was like, what? What? I had, what do you I mean? had a player I on stream who but cheated and made it so that their uh, roll 20 Pathfinder macro automatically confirmed their crit as a 20. That's oh, really wow. funny. It would, Every it time. would cheat. So roll 20 has the dice math where if you roll a 20, it'll then re roll and check. You know, it'll it'll give you the new number, but he yeah. made it so that instead of rerolling it, just displayed a second twenty. That's hilarious. No, I mean, I was so you, you when shouldn't I do that. Out. But we booted him from the show. I was so mad. That's nuts. Uh, that's what the minus actually two. that was the reason I booted. I was really mad when that happened. I booted him for another reason, but uh, yeah. yeah I mean, so I, I could see maybe doing it as a joke once, no, but also no, no. fessing up to it immediately and being like, "I'll reroll it." But he'd been getting away with it for months. Mm. Ridiculous. One, two, three. I was three, like, it's really turn. suspicious that all of your crits Four. confirm. I'm not going to look too far into it. And then one day I was like, hold on a second. I've moused over your fucking macro. The reason you always roll double 20s is because you don't re roll. You, uh, yeah. you give yourself you just a 20. <laughs> Instead of 20 slash twice. roll 1d20, <laughs> you just have it say 20. Yeah. So pathetic. That would right. be funny once, maybe. <laughs> uh, you get four spaces of movement, and then at the end, you will end up underwater in your own hex. You know, I'm thinking, actually, do I want to turn here? These guys move far, you said, and they can land on me. Just to be they safe, can I'm going to go... They move three spaces. They can go three. And then so they, they can hypertize up to two. two. Oh, wait, I'm underwater. Never mind. Yeah, I'll go here. <laughs> it's fine. The other okay, so you're me. going here, pointing <laughs> up and left? Yes. Okay. Oops. That didn't happen. <laughs> Maybe it did happen. I can't believe you trouble. called my 20 again when I've already rolled two of them. I'm just that good at this game. Oh, seems oh my like God. No, double ones. All right. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> I don't know what's worse. I've rolled 23 times, so you rolled double ones twice in a row. Yeah. Uh, so I can hypertize seven. Something's happening. 
don't refresh the browser. I'm enjoying this too much. <laughs> so they're gonna jump here. Ooh. Are they gonna go counterclockwise? Are we gonna are we gonna could collide? Be. Could be. I hope so. I mean, listen, they got it. They I mean, have to work with so, what they've like... got. <laughs> I love the idea that the reason that they uh they don't go anywhere is because they're like, bro, come back, go get a drink with us. <laughs> They're all opening without pedaling, and now that they've got an open drink, they're going to start pedaling. Yeah, like one of them spits their beer out and is like, Boy, is that Dre is too good to drink with us? They all, yeah. they all start standing up and start bash broing each other, it's just like chest bashing before I, sitting down. I like that they're all opening. Ducks, By the time they right. finish opening, they look back down, they're like, Where'd he go? Because I'm underwater. Yeah. <laughs> all right, go ahead and hypertize. Uh, as I as I come back up, you like, ah, oh, now I wish I didn't have a canopy. I'd be spitting water in my mouth and just saying, Sore. It's <laughs> finishing my phrase. Ooh, that's not, uh, that's not great. That will push you one to the left. Uh, front, front, uh, wait, one, two, three. Is it this one or this one? That's the, uh, yeah, 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 it's one to the left. Directly to the left. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Man, yeah, not knowing where this would end up would be brutal. That's yeah, terrible. imagine how I feel over here. Oh, no. Okay, that's a failure. So, so do I, do I you, not move at all? Not only do you not go anywhere, you're still underwater when you hypertize. Thank God for the canopy. So now I'm here. Still looking the same way. Not great. Yeah, but underwater. Mm. That's actually, I hypertize completely underwater. <laughs> Ooh, uh, they fail too, though. Ah. Let's see here. Uh, no, well, they have, a, they have a plus two bonus, so that that's a nine. Oh, wow. They succeed. Uh, 13. You might not got push that to a 15. Or down to an 11. Hold on. I want to go um, one, one, turn two, and then I end up three seven, point eight, to the right. Nine, ten, so seven, I five. might actually end up going this way around. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to have to do. So how do I hypertize two to the right, which is a uh, seven. Going eight, point that direction is not bad. Nine. Ten. Then... Uh, right on top of me? Well, 11 will put me here. So they technically arrive. They register as having started going around in one direction. And then they hypertize you directly next to you. Hey, bro, I think your boat's underwater still. Bro, you need help, bro? You look like you're drowning, <laughs> Do you man. need that drink? They throw a life jacket. I should mention, by the way, I know I'm making them sound like they're from New Jersey, but they're actually from the United Kingdom. So they sound like people <laughs> from South, like South Wales. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> They're from the Isle of Jersey. I just can't yeah. do that as an accent. I'm, yeah, that's fair. Nobody has that accent in their arsenal here. I'm pretty sure people from the Isle of Jersey have that, but. <laughs> I don't have any accents in my arsenal. People, people heard my Russian. <laughs> Who watched Solaris Nights? Oh, goodness. I feel like this episode is just a Solaris <laughs> well, you, you know, you, you posted it's about the vibe. Well, so let's say Sl Sl Slayer's Nights with an N, but technically they both have Ns. The one without the K. Um, <laughs> nights and two. Nights, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Nights? I should have pronounced it that way. Welcome nights. to Slayer's Nights. You have to. Nights. Come on. It's Slayer's Sl 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 Nights and Slayer's uh, Nights. I feel like that's like backwards. That's Seven. Uh, so that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's back and right. I would put you here. You know. Right. What if right? What if I just roll. face them? And then I go back here. Yeah, that's true. You could turn around. But I would point out um, that because you haven't entered into the inner ring, that would mean you're starting your rotation from mm -hmm. that X. So I have to start. I see. Um, so you you still need to it doesn't matter which way you go around it right. but you do need to make a full rotation around it. Okay, then can I go forward, turn, one. turn, and stop? So well, I let's enter. start by making your piloting check to see oh, if you yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, hundred percent. That is two. Oh, no, oh this not is going not anywhere. Good. And back into the right. Not uh, good. Yeah, so you'll get farther away. 
This is not good. This minus two killing me. If there's a minus one, we would have been okay. Listen, motherfucker, you have four speed. And you got that because you don't have anybody else in the boat with you. <laughs> See, it's an advantage, except for when you that can't four use speed it. has allowed you to get away with so much shit so far. And now the disadvantage of it comes out, and you're like, well, I wish I didn't have this disadvantage. No, wait a minute. What, what, <laughs> I wish you didn't win the first two parts of the race. <laughs> two, three, and one, four. That's got to average out. We'll make the next one. <clears throat> All right. Let's see how we did here. That's a success. I believe. Oh, they're and plus two. Seven. Uh, so I can go one to th or two to the right. So one, two, Seven, and then turn yeah. for three, and then uh, uh, Ooh, one. This two. is good for them. Yeah, that actually helps them a lot. They are yeah. now facing this direction. Seven, eight. Uh, no, sorry, that's the wrong direction. Be up here, right? <sighs> They'd be in this hex looking that way, I think. I one, two, three. They're in this hex looking this way. Yes. Yeah. I'm with you. That's pretty good. So they're halfway around from their starting hex. They just gotta right. finish it. I just need to go in a very straight line. <laughs> I've started, right? I got into this hex, so I've started. Yes. Okay, so I need to get over here. Well, you can go either way around it, remember. You, but you That's just true. have to make a full circle. I can, uh, yeah. Okay, fair. Totally fair. And at this point, anything's on the table. All right. That's so that'll terrible. push you one to the right, upper right. We need we need a pass here. Where are we? Van B. Barely. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> All right. Um, so one, you can two, end up directly in three. front of them. Uh, one, two, three, turn here. Oh, I and see. Push and push me hybridize. to the right. Yes. Yeah, and I'll be looking this yeah, way. Yes, that, that's pretty good. High risk Not of bad. being run into. But... Well, it, they, it doesn't, it's where you end up at the end of their turn yeah. that matters. Yeah. Hey, wow, oh my God. that number is so, interesting. so high. Yes, absolutely. They Okay, so they Crushed turn it. for one. So they're in the air. Two, <laughs> or underwater. Three, yeah, yeah. They end up here. <laughs> That's actually... Uh, no, that actually helps them because yeah, 17 them is to the left. 16 is also left. That, uh, that might complete the circle. <laughs> seven, this is 18... 17. Uh, yes, I actually believe that does let them. I think that completes the circle. Yeah. Yep. That mm -hmm. minus two is huge. That's good. So you finally get yourself underway as the Jersey Boys complete the circle. And both of your teams cross the finish line, but they are just a few seconds ahead of you. As you know, on instant replay, it just shows you hypertizing underwater over and over again. <laughs> Meanwhile, their engine's off and they're just pedaling. <laughs> I, I mean, they, listen, the race is over, but they still have to get their leg day in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. We finished too early, boys. We have to do another lap. <laughs> uh, I mean, you're like an hour or two in front of the other two racers. Mm. Their boats are slow and survive through not taking a lot of risks having mm. a lot of emergency backup equipment having safeties yeah having safeties having alternative means of transit <laughs> someone who can take the wheel if you fall unconscious that's, that's true <laughs> yeah uh they get you out on like a floating barge platform sort of star wars style you know like a job of the hut thing and uh the jersey boys are standing on the winner's podium and they're like Bro, come up to the number one spot with us, bro. I think uh, Van V would join them, but you can tell he's exhausted. They're all Both. hugging you, and they're like, no one's ever finished the race with us before, man. We've only finished four times. Woo! They begin, They all three of them are bench pressing you over top of them. They're like, yeah! <laughs> I feel like he's just v trying to Dorn. compute. Van V Dorn. Van V Dorn. Van Dorn V. Van Dorn V. Uh, Van V's just processing 
only four people have ever finished? No, they've only finished four times out of 12 years. Oh. 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 So, Dang. as I mentioned, normally the race ends with a lot of hypertizing and whoever's the furthest <clears throat> along. Yeah, yeah. When, was, was there this like a the round counter? the only time they've won and somebody else has also crossed the finish line. Ah, it's like a 1A, 1B. That's how Van V's thinking of it in his head. <laughs> Van V crushed his rivals, so the moral victory is secured. Oh, this is okay, true. sure, sure. This is true. <laughs> They're all like, bro, can I sign your boat? Uh, yeah, I'd love to have, you know, the winners, first place, the guys who finish four times sign the boat. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so it's signed Jersey Steve, Jersey Island, and Jersey Shore, which is the name of three... <laughs> They're all That's part awesome. of the infamous Jersey clan and their first names are Steve Island and shore. Oh my gosh. I lived in They're perfect. Yes, they are. <clears throat> you get the consolation prize of 100 credits. Woo. On vest in something nice for minerva like a music record <laughs> to a say hey. holographic head of james shive shows up and is like oh, so would elbow, finish your first uh, Van v with that. Race. No, let's see. i Given... see that your boat is completely intact although you did spend more time under the water than is usually considered healthy <laughs> i think uh when the head shows up he flashes back to what um i i, I didn't write her name down the big one's main pilot um Oh, uh, Hanfa. Hanfa, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh. He's flashing back to what she said about him hating VIs, and he, like, quickly tries to compose himself as tired as he did. He goes, oh, uh, hey, uh, James, Josh, th thanks. You know, that was a that was a tough, real tough race. Um, yeah, I I was underwater a whole lot, but I got to say, nice view down there. Uh, but it doesn't really help you win the race too often, but I, I'm just happy I crossed the line. Make a diplomacy check. You get them their charisma to that bad boy. Uh, and I talk, talk, talk. Yeah, okay. And I think um, you'll get your reroll on this. And this is not to James Jive. This is Han Fa. Look at that. Roll the one per per. Okay. Yeah. Reroll. <laughs> reroll the one d six. Well, that's okay. As bad you got as it up. Gets. You got up to a nine. You got up to a nine. <laughs> So in in three hours when they when the sun sets and they call it quits, Han Fa in fourth place is looking over the match recap. Her crew are all watching you treat a virtual intelligence tolerably. And Han Fa pulls out the bottle again and says, huh. So he did learn a lesson, just like the old witch lady said would happen. And they all <laughs> toast and are like, To witchcraft. Let's <laughs> they all so take a drink. <laughs> Which to witchcraft? I guess I'll just join in. <laughs> no, you're not there. You're not there. This is oh. about their boat alone. I thought you said no. It's so like three you hours. Did learn it's lesson, three hours so into said, the future. Okay. I got you. They see how you are treating James Shives okay. in the post-match interview, and they're like, "Ah, he learned his lesson, just like the prophecy foretold." Hmm. Suspect. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it was because I'm fucking making it up on the spot for dramatic <laughs> reasons. So that if I ever need to pull these characters back out again, I can be like, oh, look, they're kind of quirky. Yeah, it's suspect, motherfucker. And then, and then great. Han Fa says, see you soon. We're hunting down this witch. <laughs> see you soon. She's a psionic, obviously. Uh, well, yeah. She's a precog. There we go. We're going to get her on the new team. The I run into a lot team? of What are you collecting the Avengers? <laughs> yeah, she's I'm gonna go back Lita. to Lita. <laughs> he's getting yeah, he's getting the psionic Avengers. He's <laughs> like, you know what we need is a real witch to fill out the roster. <laughs> we need someone who's I'm just saying, like weird look, and freaky. Did, did Lita we name you to be defend Scarlet? themselves? No. No reason. <laughs> I will we point out that heroes. all of their jumpsuits were red. <laughs> you did say that, yeah. <laughs> hey, friends. I made tonight's episode in about an hour and a half. Although I did already have the rules for how hypertizing worked pre-written out, but uh, they were fun. 
Yeah, we pretty much had to come up with this at the last second because I was like, yeah, we're going to have an episode today. And then Kate's like, I'm sick. And I'm like, oh, I'm taking, I'm taking the hype back. <laughs> we made it work. We, we yeah. used that quadratic film. Good. Good. I do oh, like yeah. now that uh, we need to do what the Dungeons and Daddies did and go back and, uh, and all of the previous episodes where we've referenced the boat since... This ep- since this episode in the timeline, we need to change it so that we always mention that it has the three signatures on it. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> and on the other side, it says the wind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. We'll start the next episode with like you standing next to the wind and the three signatures, so that people who skip this because I told Harassing. them they could do it at the beginning yeah, yeah. have no idea what's happening. <laughs> Especially Kane. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kane will watch this episode. Yeah. That's true. Hey, he probably I will, can't wait if for he Kane's doesn't... new show because he's going to be on my Imperial Maledictum and he's mm. playing a paratrooper. So I'm going to shove him out of a, I'm definitely shoving him out of an aircraft in episode one for sure. That's exactly what he wants, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I liked his process in the character creation. He was basically like, all right, well, you guys are going to do this. So I'm going to lead as hard as possible into this instead. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, boy, I'm going to have to pretend to be a soldier. This is going to be real tough for me. <laughs> it's a real stretch. <laughs> what's what's your toughness? 50. Yeah. <laughs> How do you even get to there? <laughs> it's going to be a wild show. Absolutely crazy. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> and Kane, Kane yeah. has a secret about his character that no one knows about, too. Ooh. And he's not the only one. Medicine with a Y, and it's not where you think. That's the kind of energy I have right wear now. A parachute. <laughs> That's his secret. Uh, I don't. I don't wear a grab shoot, Captain. I'm always falling from an aircraft. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Well, this was a lot of crazy episode, uh, Sean. I'm sorry we didn't have anything for you in the second half. I had fun. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you were here. <laughs> I'm glad you were here so that we could watch a man go underwater several times in a row. It was great. And you have another psionic to recruit. <laughs> That's right. We will be coming for the win. Somewhere <laughs> out there, the mysterious witch of Al Omar Al-Awar is uh, haunting the space lanes, granting her psionic precognitive blessings to whoever passes. She's on the list. She's on the list. That actually is my favorite part about your psionic powers is I'm like, you sure I can't tempt you to becoming a precognitive? You know, the one power that will allow you to do anything and figure out what would be a good course of action. You're like, no, you know what power I really want is the power to make people bump it dance, doing whatever I want by telekinetically throwing their body around. Like, okay, okay. I choose Ragdoll. Thank you. I understand. Evocation yeah, I mean, Wizard, very powerful. Not everyone goes for enchantment or illusion. No, Precog is, is a lot of fun, but it's also like potentially game breaking in some ways. So it's, you know, oh, yeah. you mean like with Kane's ability things. to roll back time? Yeah. <laughs> I, th- I think we, we've said this on stream before, but when, uh, yeah, when when Kane said, yeah, I'm picking the power to like undo something, I was like, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. <laughs> and, and then like the very next episode, Someone died. He's like, oh, I rewind time. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'll go I like, pull it. I like it one bit. Yeah, I'm going to pull 180 here and say that's a good idea. Well, in case you didn't watch that there. episode, that's why I said someone. Just so. There's no way that you've gotten this far this in far. the show and have not seen that episode. It's true. It should be true. There's yeah. no way you got to episode the quadratic <laughs> equation and haven't seen episode 20. Wait, this one's about a boat race? I just want to watch this one. <laughs> that would be incredible. Episode, if yeah. this was somebody's first episode, and they were like, yeah, man, this is what I want. This is the show that I want to watch. I thought the show had three people on it. <laughs> it does have three people on it. You mean it has four? Oh, that's true. That's true. You know, that's true. I, I would, you know what I love about players is they always discount me as being a player as well. They that's remove fair. me fair. from the equation because I'm the bad guy. I'm their nemesis. <laughs> You're the precog. You're the collaborator. You know, collaborator is a term most people use very negatively. <laughs> well, you're working with the evil, you know. <laughs> yeah, least. working with the bad guys. Yeah, just say what you're going to say. 
<laughs> okay, you left it open ended. You know, you're working with the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just working with the bad guys. I am the bad guys. Yeah, but you're also the good guys, too. Okay, only very occasionally. <laughs> yeah, anytime you're a Yona. <laughs> She's got know. a secret. It's Listen, a dark one. I was going to say, know. I don't know why you we think Yona was good. <laughs> yeah. I see, I see something there. <laughs> She's that NPC that every group needs. Because yeah, we'd be well, lost for sure. her. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I agree with you. And the doctor is almost another one, but <laughs> yeah, just one bridge too far for the doctor. You know, yeah, she had to <laughs> took my own and finish that set me statement. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just in case this is someone's first episode, the boat episode. It's all about races. <laughs> Unbelievable. What's this? Your old D twenty and pilot checks? Yeah, what that one? Hell yeah. Because, you know, usually I don't have to roll pilot checks. It's under an attend difficulty. All right, we just make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> we need more races. I was my, my goal for, you know, an episode where you got to get into like a card game, something like that. We do we some do, gambling. Uh, all right, next time someone can't make it, we should do Blast Ball. There you go. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Maybe not the actual finish game. the rules for Blast Ball, which is something I've given zero thought for. <laughs> Maybe not like the actual game, but like betting on it and then some random rolls to determine how they go or something like that. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I know, as I much as I tried to get Pro to help us in okay. Slayer's Nights and betting, he refused to help the Cosmo. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite part of looking at my character sheet now at this point is realizing I'm still only at 12 HP <laughs> from <laughs> the previous times, even though this is now a flashback, but it makes yeah, sense yeah. with all the times I probably hit my head going under water. <laughs> I do want to note Meanwhile. that Blast Ball is almost entirely based off of Avatar The Last Airbender, Legend of Korra's, uh, whatever the sport is where the three benders play off against each other. All of yeah, my yeah. stars without number sports have been based off of that sport. That's funny, but it, it's I mean, that. It's a fun gotcha. part. It's it's whenever you hit. It's that and Quidditch because it's whenever you hit a special ball, one of eight random things happens. Nice, like, like the it. ball teleports or the, the ball comes suddenly out. grows spikes. It's a really good basic framework, you know. It's fun. The goal is to hit that ball at the one of my favorites. Uh, Solaris Knights episodes was also the Dunamis race episode. So you know, ah yes, against uh, Saya Jade Falcon, if I recall. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Yeah, much like this episode. <laughs> Dunamis and getting in, Dunamis and having a special one-off race episode that's never yes. referenced to get in this any is, way. Yes. If I had a quarter I, I, for every time it happened, I'd have fifty cents. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite part of that, that episode is when I was like, I just assumed when I built the map, everyone would run around the lava. And then you looked at the lava rules, like, yeah, it's not that bad. We'll just run across it. I was like, huh, I got to change the map. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You All shot right. at me. No, I didn't. I just put mines in front of you. <laughs> yeah, I put mines in front of you. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Motherfucking fast cam bullshit. You you have jump jets, yeah, but I won't use them. <laughs> Ever, no honor. Uh, too far. Well, honor this was fun. Planners. I liked it. I will now reveal, as an exclusive, one of the playbook's names for Solaris Knights Two. That's Knights with an N, not with a K. Knights. Not Knights. General. General. The leader of men. I'm trying to think of the six people, who does that fit the most? I'm and not I'm writing not... it for. Solaris I know, but I'm just, I was players. just thinking going back. I was like, I got nothing <laughs> of, our, of our players. The playbooks are going to be completely different this time around, yeah. and I'm definitely taking everything that made Soldier good and spreading it out into different playbooks. So it's not just three people taking Soldier over and over again. There you go. Not to not to call anyone out, but Spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, call it out Spoon, huh? Well, number two most popular class, Mech Tech, 
these two motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm going to try to make each playbook desirable in a different way, rather than everyone ignores patron and, and fan. <laughs> I will. I will say, I chose Mech Tech because I liked having that second light Mech, which I used a lot. Yeah, I'm sure. You also liked having Mech Cyclopedia because you used it a lot. The one that lets yeah. you. Oh, raise I did, your I did use that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Plus one. Yes. Absolutely. The extra crit, the plus one to the crit, was yes. like huge for me across the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. It was a big one. Well, gentlemen, any final words before we wrap up this? My first stream back. Good. Welcome back. Yeah, thanks. I fucked you. around the whole episode. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. That's what it's here for. I enjoyed it. I like the vibe. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, where is we, this uh... episode in my recordings file? I don't. We're still recording, is one thing, but where the heck is it? I think you said we're oh, here none of your I shows meet in uh, December, so we've got what the twentieth and twenty seventh still. Yeah, as possible episode dates, and then we won't be back until January. I'm shutting everything down Crazy. in December because I'm tired of every single year. The last day, Something. someone's like, "Ah, my wife has family coming into town. We'd better." Yeah. I uh, yeah. I don't want to have a conflict with my wife. You know, yeah. I, that's it. We're not. I'm looking forward to the, the community server games and stuff you've got scheduled. Oh yeah, you like, so you, got so, that, you like some Valheim, huh? You ready? Hell to... yeah, man. That's that's fun. Hell yeah. yeah. Gonna... I'm not shutting it down at the end of the three weeks, but I will not be playing it every night after that point. It'll still be yeah. there, and probably I might play a little during the daytime. But I guess oh. we're gonna try to blitz to whatever the current thing is that Glimo tells me is really fun. Mist loons okay. or something. Yeah, I haven't touched it in a long time. I haven't touched it since the last community survey. I remember the final battle was just everyone dying and me standing at the warp portal raising people so that we wouldn't automatically Rise lose the again, battle against the final. There's just me standing there. Everyone's like, oh, this is so much fun. I'm using all my top level magic spells. I'm throwing fire everywhere and doing tons of damage. And I'm like, I am <laughs> the one person keeping us from losing this battle in terms of numbers because oh, everyone oh, is oh, dying. This oh, is <laughs> so funny. I think City said he would partake in uh, Valheim. Oh, right. let's get him in here. Cool. Good. Maybe <clears throat> while he's there, I can pressure him into making yeah. maps for me for some mythical city. I've heard about him for years. <laughs> Think, yeah, uh, I'm trying to get people to submit maps for Solaris Nights with a K, but probably I'm going to need to end up making 10 to 20 maps by myself. Wow. Uh, I can I can make a few for you if you want. They're going to be much smaller than normal. They're going to be about a quarter of the regular size because it's Alpha Strike and it's going to be very short battles. Oh, fun. They're, That's they're, it, to my it, ears. All of them take place in a city, right? It's all city fighting. So yeah, it's when all going to be ambush and guerrilla fighting. And... Uh... With the worldwide thing James made it made. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. I realize after when I made it the map, I thought I was measuring in inches, but I was measuring in hex tiles. And when I converted it back to inches, it was like twice as big as it needed to be. And I was just like, <laughs> yeah, that's because it's uh, uh, hex is two inches in tabletop simulator. Yep, that makes sense. Gotcha. Yeah. So then, well, yeah, but I was like, so James, I made the map, but it is twice as big as you need it to be. So for any measurements, just count tiles, don't count inches. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just it's huge <laughs> but luckily it still loads because he tested it so hey we got Sidious to make multiple copies of parvis lake for the attack i cannot of the warfare believe finale. when i cut so the corner big. that came into the battle i literally <laughs> cut the corner and people were like james is like oh quality control here piss poor <laughs> <laughs> and pond was like well if the corner wasn't cut i would have made it <laughs> i was like how did this come into the battle it was like three hexes. They were just... all hanging back. They're li listen. The, the, their boxers that were up against the ropes. Okay. Yeah, that was funny. Uh, I just I can't believe how much the cutting corners came into to the map. I was like, you've got to be kidding. We needed those cut corners, otherwise we we literally had one person who was playing on Discord with another person sending them a photo That's of the map. That's, That's how true. big the map was. Soundwave Ooh, couldn't even well, load in. Oh, That's brutal. Uh, too good. God, what a finale. I can't go back and watch that episode. I say that every time I talk about it, but I 
fucking every time I start watching the uh, like final part of that show, I'm like, ah, oh, that's right. I feel totally exhausted. I look at my eyes and see what it's like to watch my soul escape as I have to forcibly end my most successful, most famous show ever because one of my cast members has lost his fucking mind. Oh, <laughs> too funny. Hey, you know, funnier. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't funny for me, but I'm glad yeah, everyone enjoyed the, word. the show. No, it's <laughs> exactly. We, we brought exactly. in a bunch of guest stars to help make it fun at the end. But, love uh, what there is to love, right? right? <laughs> sure. I like your level of positivity, but I am a nimbus of darkness <laughs> nimbus <laughs> a penumbra i enjoyed the number of uh guests who came on were immediately headshot <laughs> <laughs> thanks for joining us for 10 seconds that is battle tech <laughs> i also say this all the time about that episode but i'll never forget rad going is this how we're gonna end this show arthur with you killing all of us and i was just like you know what, Rad? I've seen this show before. You're going to win. <laughs> You're going to win. Yeah. It's going to be easy. Yeah. Yeah. That was, uh... it, it did look quite bad there, but I knew that I was running out of ammo and running out of armor. I recall that episode very, uh, very much because of that dialogue. <laughs> well, I, I kind of borrowed it from Max Landis's WWE expose. Uh, wrestling wow. isn't wrestling because I there's a scene where Batista is talking to like Triple H and he's like, you know, I watch the show. I'm an actor on it. I've seen that you're going to screw me over. Like, it's not that hard to predict. You've done it to like five other guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know how this is going to end, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, it's great to be back. And hey, maybe we'll be back next week with another great episode that will be episode 31 rather than Q2, the Blast <laughs> Ball episode. Nice. You know, you know, here we go. This is how... The beginning of the league. I know, I was going to say, this is how the Blast Ball episode will go. It's your dad, you, and your younger brother when you're all very young all watching a game together is the frame and then we Ooh. jump into that game just so that every once in a while we can zoom out princess bride style and i can yep. do the dialogue for all three characters that will um, that will be prophetically extremely heartbreaking sad. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> your dad's just like "Ooh, so... that one really hurt it's like a shot to the leg <laughs> yeah 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 perfect <laughs> Little Zach. Right. You're both my heroes. <laughs> and Dorn, you're really breaking my heart. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we haven't talked about is Dungeons and Daddies. Mm. I we have mm. not had an episode since both Dynamis and I got caught up. Although I didn't watch episode 45 yet, but uh, I want to say. <laughs> I, yes, you thought apparently. I wasn't going to like Scary Marlowe, and I think Scary Marlowe is one of the best characters. I'm in the middle of episode 42. Is so that I'm... the Metal Gear Solid episode? With the piss boy <laughs> intro? No, I think oh, so. Oh boy. You'll get <laughs> to it then. It's funny. I'm trying to remember what was happening in the middle of this episode. Uh, I listened on my... my... <laughs> train ride when i'm on the subway because yeah. it's chaos around me but <clears throat> it's uh it's getting to thick of it i mean they just uh what's his face just ran away he conceded the battle in the church and ran away that's basically what just happened and they, they found good old ron stampler again ron stampler i cannot believe hey, no one went to the entree preneur stable on career day but oh well <clears throat> they stuck to their guns, which I can I can respect. <laughs> Fucking hate Ron so much. <laughs> and Beth was like, this is really hard. How do you play two characters having a conversation with yourself? <laughs> it's funny because I, like, I think Beth actually did the best job out of everybody. Yeah, she did she did a real good job switching back and forth. Oh god, have you gotten to the Titanic episode yet? I don't That's think the next you one. Have. That's oh, the next one. Well, I can tell by the name of the <laughs> 
episode. It's yeah. called Attack Attack on Titanic. Attack on Titanic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what an episode. Yeah, that's right around. I do I love their episode lengths are like perfect. They're pretty good. Yeah. Mm. So I mean Freddie obviously does some editing. Yeah. Just especially because he leaves in a blooper at the very end of every episode. <laughs> so good i'll probably i'll probably be caught up by the end of thursday because i'll have six trips back and forth all right well <laughs> i the guy guess i need to finish listening to episode 45 by thursday then hell or high father <laughs> that's what they named it yeah i mean obviously it's going to involve glenn based on the name yep there's a uh there's a bonus episode in between there yeah i didn't listen to it i'm gonna catch their patreon in the start of december and listen to all of that bonus backlog content all at once all get one month in there. <laughs> and you know if the you Star were gonna Wars do episode? that i would say ap gaming real is a great place to go you can get all that behind the scenes content you can get imperial maledictum episode negative one that's only available on patreon you can get all of the intro hour or what's the pre intro hour show? Uh, uh the once hour. a month Patreon meeting, Patreon Twitch oh, oh. meeting. Yes. I mean, I intro I... hour is just that, but an hour instead of 15 minutes. <laughs> Where you get a mixed bag of questions. Some good, I, some hey, not. Some weeks I don't even get questions and I just have to put on a song and dance. I don't think we have any questions this week yet. So and sometimes I say I'm going to submit a question fun. and then I don't and then Spoon pings me in the middle and says why didn't you ask your question? <laughs> <laughs> wow, incredible! I didn't know that happens, but that's very funny. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> All right, friends, Romans, let me your ears. We'll see you I was next week. I'm glad you completed it.